What's going on, everybody? I'm the internet host. Oh, God. I'm going to take this Mock Sapphire. And hope that Thousand Year Storm comes back. It's got to be a sign, right? I should have refilled my drink. If we're a thousand year storm, we could take. Oh. GB confirmed? What's GB? Does MTGO resolution look different? Not to me. All right, for Kerwit, I'm gonna take Manamorphose. Now I wanna take. Now I wanna take Mind Twist. So. Probably ponder, right? I mean, man, mind twist is good, but for a thousand year storming, we're trying to get cheap ones. Everything's clear for me, so that's interesting. All right, we're gonna take this. Kerwit stipulation, I'll put it in the chat. It is your choice: at draft cards that go in any deck or thousand years, thousand year burn. I guess it's ritual here. Uh, Vintage Cube is available for about 23 more hours, apparently. I'm going to take Pyretic Ritual here. Uh, Tutor doesn't find anything we really need. Lightning Strike. Alright, let's take that. Incinerate. Alright, let's take that. Uh, Trigger Mage finds Mox Sapphire. I think it's probably Tringa Mage over anything else here. Nothing else is really great. Yawgul is fine, but I have no desire to be black if we don't have to be. Plus, like, if you can resolve a thousand year storm, you're probably just fine anyway. You don't really need Yawgul. Also, my big problem with, with Mystical Tutor is that it doesn't give you the card that turn. Oh, Fire Ice is nice. You have to wait a turn. Hunter's got the grumbles over here. It's a long, it's a long wait here. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> it was meant to be, guys. Um, yeah, I'll just take Heartless Act. Man, got to first pick the Mox and have the Thousand Year Storm Wheel. Exactly as we planned. Just like we drew it up, as the kids say. Oh, Flame Tongue Kavu. Flame Tongue Kavu is actually a fine dude. Sometimes you just need to survive until you can Thels in your storm. Char? Char is another win con. We could also just be, like... We could also just burn them out without Thels in your storm. Oh, man. But what's the fun in that? Yeah, I think Char is just fine. It would be better for one mana. You know, you might be right. Take Neil Spires just in case. We want to splash a white thingamajig. <sighs> tear okay it might actually just be treachery here treachery is just good it's also a free spell the alternative is like mine desire mine desire might actually come back and I could see Everflowing Chalice being good here too because it does help us get to Thousand Year Storm. I am going to take Treachery though because I think it's one of the better cards to be picking up here. Hmm. If you think it's Spiral, I could take Spiral. <coughs> I was definitely looking to borrow Signet or Force, but I think Spiral's probably fine. I could see Wheel coming back. I could also see eh, borrow Signet maybe coming back. It's not a super... Uh, popular color combination. Fire Blast actually seems really good. Because it's just basically a free burn spell that you can copy a bunch with Thousand Year Storm. And you really don't have to copy it that many times. Um, you can also just take Deceiver Exarch as well. Hmm. I mean, Dig Through Time actually seems pretty good, right? Let's take a Dig Through Time. Emrakul. I feel like, actually, Spellseeker could be decent here. Like, 
kind of like Emrakul though, because we could get through the breach. I'm just going to take Spellseeker. Amazing. We could get through the breach. Here you go, dummy. I think it's looter. Someone else is going to have the luck. And these cards are exciting. Take rest though. Oh, chain lightning, sure. Uh, I'm gonna take chalice actually. Being able to ramp here seems very. Actually, does cough also ramp us? I mean, effectively. I think it might be cough. Cough is also win con, whereas like chal. Oh wow, force of negation came back. Yeah, I'll take recruiter. Why do you speak things into existence? I don't know, and why don't I do it for my own benefit? Do I exist? No, oh, we can't really talk about it. Goblin guide? Sure. I like this one. Come on, Ancestral Recall. Oh. Council's Judgment is a, last, a nice last pick. Ha! <laughs> time Walk. I'll take a Time Walk. Also a Sneak Attack. That Emrakul's looking better and better, man. Yeah, we're Time Walking. For sure. Oh, Dak Faden? Also, Time Twister? No Narset, though. Yeah, let's take a Dacker. Dacarino. I mean, we really just have to resolve Thousand Year Storm and then untap with it. Once we untap with it, I think we have a lot of ways to win the game. Why do you like a counterspell? Just a good old fashioned counterspell. Playing on the radio. Yeah. Easy pick. That Boros Signet did not come back. Demir Signet. Show and tell is kind of cute because we can put Thousand Year Storm into play. I actually kind of like show and tell. It just lets us win the game, right? Mike B is where he always is during uh, the daylight. He is at his job. Um, Like, show and tell put Thousand Year Storm in. Like, it's actually pretty good because it also um, counts as one of your spells. Yeah, I'm actually going to take show and tell here. Wait. I'm going to take Demir Signet, and I think show and tell comes back. 
That's a gamble we're taking. Lightning Bolt? Yeah, we'll take Lightning Bolt. He is not working from home. He's working on working from home, but even if he was, like, he's still not going to be streaming <laughs> when he's working from home. It would be the same amount of attention he normally pays to the game. Goof. Um, past in flames. Hmm. Oh, what up, Juposh? I'm almost tempted to take Mana Flare. A Mana Flare on turn 6? You can go Mana Flare into Time Spiral, untap into 12 mana, Thousand Year Storm. I think there's a higher upside with Mana Flare. Uh, mana Flare also might table. I'm going to take the Treasure Cruise. Empty the Warrens. I mean, there's definitely games where you can go, like, Chain Lightning, Ponder, Empty the Warrens for six and, and, and do quite well. Oh, Spire Bluff Canal is nice. <laughs> Alright, we'll take a single fixing land here. Yeah, I think Flare is definitely going to wheel here. Oh, another reason I wasn't super high on, on Cruises because you do have Dig. This is actually a solid alternative win condition here. What do we got? Chain Lightning, Lightning Bolt, Incinerate, Lightning Strike, Fire Ice, and Char? Wow. Time Twister came back. Eh, take a Johnny. Yep, there's the show and tell as predicted. Here's Necromancy. Doesn't matter. This should be a mana flare in this pack. It is. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, the only show and tell target we're looking for is literally Thousand Year Storm. So basically, we want a Thousand Year Storm, Mana Flare, and show and tell the table. They all did. Wow, this is really small. It's. Perniculus. <laughs> How is the 3080? I mean, it's really hard to tell. When you swap one good graphics card that you don't really have any issues with with another good graphics card, 
it's hard to see a real difference in like your everyday tasks and i haven't i haven't done anything taxing yet so wow we need like six cuts here oh well obviously smokestack is getting cut i don't think we need treasure cruise and dig through time i do think dig is better Like, I don't think we're traditional storm enough to empty the warrens. I think we just really want to go Thousand Year Storm into, like, Lightning Bolt, Chain Lightning. How much is that? Like, if we go Show and Tell, Thousand Year Storm, Lightning Bolt, Chain Lightning. This is 6, and this is 9, 15 damage. Hmm. I really don't think I care enough about Spellseeker. I mean, Mana Flare does seem good. That awful noise? Let me see if I can shut it off, actually. Let me see if that did it. No, so it's not UI. That's weird. Is it card? Go down to zero on card. Okay, that did it. Okay. <coughs> I definitely think we're a young Pyromancer deck. I think we can take out Looter. How many how many spells does this deck have? Like it's gotta have like a billion, right? Holy crap. 17 spells. Good gravy. Like our wind conditions are like empty, thousand year storm. Yeah, I was thinking of cutting flame tongue. We can board it in if we need it. Um, I could see bringing in twister for sure, but like... Playing on the radio. Like, we need one cut, two cuts if we want to bring in. It might not be a counterspell deck. I do like Koth because it lets us, uh... It, it ramps us in a sense. So like, if we have three mountains, two, two islands, it gives us three extra mana. But... And it also lets us play a turn 5,000 year storm instead of a turn 6,000 year storm. Like if on turn 4 you got blue, blue, red, red. On turn 5 you have 6. Maybe cut Force of Negation because it's very unlikely we're going off on their turn. And we'll just bring in Twister. I kind of like this. Nope. Yes. So this is what? 7, 8, 9, 10 versus 8, 9, 9. Huh. 7, 8, 9, 10. We'll go to 9 here. 9, 10. 9 to 10? Sure. You guys are dreaming you're watching me play Spider-Man?
You guys are having the same dreams. My stops are not set. Okay. Boop, boop. boop. Third row. Main. Beginning of combat. I have like all my stops set. Um. <clears throat> well. I really don't know. Okay. Um, hmm, one, two, three. Oh no, those don't, those aren't gonna be good. Hold on. All right. Oh my god, why are these noises here? Stop them. Nope, don't like that. Okay. guy's fine for now. Oh, that's weird. Okay, is it alerts? Turn down alerts. Okay. I have card alerts in dual and UI down. Okay, I think that did it. Okay. Okay, which one would we just turn down alerts? Let's see what happens when we put in. in oh, don't like that already. Okay. Nope, don't like that. Oh god, it's terrible. How about UI? Okay, that one I think I do like. Yeah, I like the click noise. That's kind of satisfying. Hmm. I feel like this is a card we kind of have to kill. a lot of artifacts. They only have two cards in hand though, which is actually pretty good for us. It gives us quite a bit of time. Let's draw a treachery. It's not it's not that.
Something's happening. Exciting. One, two, three, four, five, seven mana. Oh, Hydroid Crassus for five. It's pretty good. <laughs> Okie dokie. We could go lightning bolt this guy. Fire blast their face, empty for six. And then we still have time twister. One, two, three, four. We'll have three mana. Lightning Bolt helps quite a bit. We could also just go... We have to kill this guy, right? I just don't think this does anything, and it's really sad. So we'll have four mana next turn if we sack. I think we do it. It feels like for six, plus we get to twist our next turn. That is what I was afraid of. Followed by a fetch land. Wow. Why does he call it every time? Nobody knows. <laughs> cool. Unfortunate. All right. <clears throat> I do think we want Counterspell. I think Empty the Warrens is kind of a trap, actually. I also like Flame Tongue Cavo. I think it just helps us survive. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll keep the sand. Hmm, Mox Diamond. 
fast bond. Interesting. Opposition, huh? Yeah, that's fine. Let's have one card in hand. Oh boy. Well, <clears throat> that's something right there. We're definitely going to shuffle because we need land. And we did not find a land. Hmm, they did nothing. Interesting. Thank you. Well, we're going to pass here. <laughs> Franconic Disciple, what up, my dude? I appreciate you, buddy. Sure. Give me a blue land. That's kind of like a blue land. Sure. They do get to kill Dak here, but I think that's a fine price to pay for stealing a Mox Diamond, which is two for one What they play? They played Forest Island. Okay. You got it. I'm gonna steal that. Steal that dude. Takes me higher. Ring of fire. I want to draw island in a twister. No, that's not entirely what we're looking for. You got it. <clears throat> so we're going to attack with this guy. And we're going to walk the walk. And then we're going to destroy your stupid opposition because that thing is annoying. See you later.
One thing we can do right now is go Mana Flare with these three and then have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mana. That's a lot. That's pretty good. Never don't have a fucking fetch land after you play Avenger of Zendikar, huh? Seems good. Yep. <laughs> they didn't even have a fetchable land. They only have six, seven basics in their deck. Actually, they might have more in hand. Oh, they're just... Huh. 11, huh? Yeah, I'll just take 11. Oh yeah, they might just not have any more islands, I guess. That's still fascinating. Sure. What? I have Trigon Predator. Oh my god. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bold strategy. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. It's worth seven. Okay, we're not dead yet. I think we're actually dead. <laughs> we block there, there we take six, seven, eight. We can char the bird. Char here, block here, block here, block here. We take one, two, three, four, five. Ah, <sighs> that's annoying. Like, I just don't think the deck can exist without a... Uh, I don't know. The <laughs> deck's definitely lacking something. Uh, I don't think Spellseeker is great in this deck. I mean, it, it's... I don't really want to spend three mana just to get, like, a Lightning Bolt. I mean, it's fine, but... I, I don't think it's that great. Like, the only thing we really care about getting is Time Walk. But we have to cut something to play it, so I just don't think it's super good. Yeah, Looter's fine. I I don't know. There's a lot of cards that are just fine. Like, Turn 1 Pyromancer is nice here. Uh, 
I agree counter de counter spell was main deckable and we had it in the main deck, but we have to cut cards. We just don't have enough room in the deck for a bunch of random stuff. We're also trying not to... Like, this is also a deck where we're trying to tap out a lot, so, like, we just didn't have any room for counter spell, counter spell. I attempt to just char their face, make a guy. And by char, I mean chain lightning. Like they go to 12 here and then they go to 8 after the char. Colagons commit. Thirst for knowledge. Sure. Things are happening. Interesting. Red. Char your face. Yes, this is not the correct art. Sure, you got it. So you're going to get that mana during our turn, right? Beginning of your next main phase. Okay. Oh, wow, there's no... <laughs> There's no attack with all button anymore. That's kind of weird. That's a weird feature to just remove, but okay. Sure. Uh -huh. I also have no, no qualms with stealing that thing. Wow, they're going to counter that. Okie dokie. Block here, they take three. Doesn't seem great. So they just stormed better than us. Sounds good. Uh, 
Have I drafted Commander Legends yet? No, how I, I don't even know how I would have done that. Is that is it on? Is it on here? Pre-releases last weekend online. I am not feeling this draft yet. Which is unfortunate, it's a card with stipulation, but I do not think that our deck has what it takes to win games. <laughs> I feel like it came together while we were drafting it, but... Wow, did they just whiff? Okay, so we just win here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Steal you... Missed to steal you guy. Okay, one, two, three. So, Koth, we can go three. Okay, we just won the game. <laughs> wow, how did that happen? I guess we do have what it takes. I do kind of like Counterspell. I don't know, man. This deck's hard to figure out what to do and what not to do. This Flint on Kavu doesn't seem great in this match, so out he goes. <sighs> one land with the ponder though think about it what if there's three lands on that ponder doesn't matter uh this i'll keep we can put fire blast yeah let's put fire blast back we're gonna start with an island just in case we draw more islands Yeah, if you guys are talking about doing paper drafts in person at a store with COVID, I'm like, I'm fucking out, dude. Alright, during the upkeep, Crack Misty. And Ancestral. That seems alright. Interesting. Mana Flare could be bad against them for sure. I agree with you. I did just go to an ice cream social and we shared one spoon. Give me a mock sapphire. God, please. That was not... It's not the, the card you were looking for there. Wow, Mox Sapphire in a deck, Fade and Steal Your Coalition Relic would have been insane. I guess it's still pretty good, but, you know. Yep, never don't have Mana Drain. Cool. Uh, <laughs> no, show and tell Thousand Year Storm against them. Uh, not when I can't do anything afterwards. Not when I can't keep up Counterspell. Like, for obvious reasons. I 
If we had literally one more land, we can go Mana Flare Time Walk. Untap with 8 mana. Thousand Year Storm. Keep up Counterspell. Imagine if we cast Shones how both players play Thousand Year Storm. Yeah, and then one of them gets to untap first. Of course, we also missed a land drop, so that's nice. Not really sure how we win this match anymore. It's pretty good. I would have definitely used a land for that, but I mean, because like this taps for anything, these are obviously restricted, and also because if you end up not using the mana for some reason, like then you get to activate this again and put another counter on it. Yagamoss will. And shout it out with glee. We've uh, arrived at the part of our storm session where we have to wait for our opponent. Wait, what? Oh my god, they discarded their whole hand and we got to see their whole hand, but then it came back because they un- oh my gosh. <sighs> yep. <sighs> yep. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Michael came to say.
They didn't crack Lion's Eye Diamond before doing this? Well, that's kind of funny. Mm, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you got my slate tonight? Then how the reindeer loved him, waited for their opponent to storm. Do, 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 do. Slay tonight. We have an extra seven minutes. Every storm matches like this. Don't draft storm if you don't know how to play storm. Sure, draw 12 cards. They only have six cards in their deck. They should brainstorm. That would be pretty baller. The problem is, in order to crack their Lion's Eye Diamond and get that mana that's not... That's not blue, they need to discard their hand. Cabal Ritual. Well, there you go. Wait, what? They misclicked? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what? Oh boy. Draw them. Draw them cards. Draw them. Draw them cards. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! So they can brain freeze us, but we still win because that doesn't kill us. They can't tendrils at instant speed. They don't have red mana to lightning bolt us, and in order to have that, they have to discard their hand. Oh boy. Oh boy. One thing they could have done, right, is like they could have cracked Lion's Eye Diamond with all the charts on the stack getting red and if they happen to have like Lightning Bolt or Incinerate in the top four cards they could have cast that before the other final chart of course resolved but who knows. Let's actually let's add to Counterspell I don't think I want Counterspell. I lied. I lied to you. Oh, man. Well, we won a match. Storm is a hell of a drug. We haven't even cast Thousand Year Storm yet, buddy. So.
so no. No, we have not. The problem is his hand doesn't do anything. See, that's better. Where's Mike? Mike is the same place he is every day at work. Oh boy. Interesting. Okay. That's <laughs> a fair guess. Um, let's ponder. Oh, I don't want any of these things. Actually, Demir Signet might help us cast Thousand Year Storm a little bit quicker. Like next turn we can go Signet. We'll have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, actually, maybe. I can see it. The problem is I don't want the island. And we're kind of stuck with like drawing the next two cards. But I think that could be okay. I really don't know. I'm going to ship it. Yeah, okay. Five artifact, man, that's pretty good. Always a pleasure. No, I'm not blocking here. <laughs> this guy could produce a stream of guys. Six mana now. Oblivion Stone. Banishing light. Oh God. <laughs> oh gravy. This is why show and tell is consistently a trap, but literally cast show and tell one time in this draft and they have a banishing light in hand. In their in their deck that has literal no colored mana sources. Are you just trading here? No, we're not. They get to pump their guy, don't they? Yeah, that's pretty bad. No, it's got Sony Sickness. Yeah, I don't think so, brah. It has Summoning Sickness. You can't activate it. It's not how that works. You're just losing a land here. Yeah, they kept clicking on the Mishra's factory and it tried to activate it. Like you could say cuz it said waiting to pay costs, so it was trying to activate the plus the the one man ability because I guess summoning sickness is still a little confusing in 2020.
Well, not gonna play anything here. And now you gotta get rid of three things. So you're probably gonna get rid of smokestack. Who knows? Who knows what you're doing? They still have to win the game. Like, there's no way they sack six in a row, so I think the smokestack is gone here. Banishing light's probably staying, so they're probably just getting rid of two lands, two mana sources. Weird. Walking on the razor's edge. So you get rid of two lands and I get rid of three cards? Sure. This is the dumbest game I've ever played. What? <laughs> like, what? They kept Blast Zone? Sure, discard all my cards. Like, it doesn't even seem like you're ahead here. I don't understand what's going on. How do you win the game? One, two, three, four, five, six mana sources are in the graveyard. Seven, so there's ten in our deck. So maybe like, boy. Wow, a top. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I'm not conceding. Like, you're just going to have to find a way to win. So... Wow, that would have been great. Like if we can go land land, we're actually still decent. Oh, it's my turn. Have you gone 13 turns and only hit one land? <laughs> You'd think that. You'd think that. Well, that's probably going to cost us. Okie dokie. So this is 5, 6, 7. They could pump this guy 1. So it's 8. And then they can just shoot us for 3. It's a surprisingly obnoxious match. I'm going to bring Counterspell in again. Show and Tell seems pretty bad here. Mana Flare seems okay. Bring in Smokestack. 
Oh, we should have actually brought in Wear Terror. That would have been a solid play. I'm going to keep this and hope we hit Island Mox off of Ponder. That was in your Storm and Island. No, we need Mountains. Any order? Shh. Okay. How about a Red Source? Interesting. Deceiver Exarch, so random. Thank you. Just need to hit a land here, so if this is just a glorified explorer, it's fine with me. Well, we did hit a land, kind of. Todd Boss, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Keeping up counter spells, nice. Yeah, we have three cards named Lightning in our hand. Man, the deck it doesn't seem as good when they don't get to go Mishra's Workshop, Ancient Tomb. Oh boy. Oh boy. <sighs> love it during my draw step <laughs> so fucking dumb like why what does that do <laughs> it's so random so you're letting me if I draw uh, like a factor fiction you're letting me cast it cool seems good Like, there's so many worse reasons to do it during my turn than just do it on your turn. To not give me access to another draw step, to not give me access to the man on my turn, like... Yeah, no, dude. You gotta be kidding me. This is unbelievable. This is how we lost the most unfun... Uh, <laughs> not optimally played by our opponent match ever. Sounds good. Like, they named Deceiver Exarch, and they even saw, like, our mocks in game one, so it's kind of weird to just name a random twin piece. Yep, cool. Kerwit, I appreciate the stipulation. Unfortunately, our deck did nothing. Uh, we also could not draw a red source uh, in 15 turns in game three, so that's round three, so that's cool, too. But uh, either way, I do appreciate the, the support, buddy. I'm sorry we couldn't do better, even though we seemed to get everything we wanted in the draft itself. What can you do? Either way, thanks for watching, guys. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.